now announcing the launch of Amazon Snowball. And Snowball is a highly secure, shippable storage appliance. The initial Snowballs will be 50 terabytes for you to load data onto. And what it is is it's a customized appliance that's 50 terabytes. It's really simple, much simpler than just a disk to load your data into. It allows you to it encrypt the data end to end right from the get-go so you don't have to worry about encrypting and you're, you can be sure that your data is encrypted. It has a tamper-proof secure enclosure. You don't have to worry about figuring out how to ship it. The container is very easily to close and ship, and attached to it is a Kindle, which allows you to automatically have a return label that's sent to the right place and that you can automatically track the progress on it being shipped, on it being downloaded into AWS, and then when we're done. So very, very different model. And you can take that same 100 terabytes that you were trying to move to AWS, and instead of it taking 100 days, with two snowballs, you can do it inside of a week. That's a very different model in getting your data to the cloud. So to give you a quick demo of how Snowball works and what it looks like, I'd like to bring up the head of AWS Storage Services, Bill Voss. Well, as more and more customers move their big data loads onto AWS and do big production loads there, they'd like to get huge volumes of data. In fact, one of our customers came to us and said, we want to move 250 petabytes into AWS, but if we fully saturated our network, it would take eight and a half years. And we want to shut our data center down much faster than that. So as we talked to more customers, we found the, the big requirements were security, as Andy mentioned, end-to-end -end encryption, strong tamper protection, those kinds of things. Uh, all the encryption is done off the Snowball device, and the keys are managed off the Snowball device. Very fast, you can download a petabyte in as quick as 15 hours, which is a pretty amazing connection. Um, very simple, not messing with boxes and labels and shipping and all those kinds of things very large scale and really inexpensive, about one-fifth the cost of, of running it over the network. Other more complex requirements are things like strong custody of the data end-to-end, -end, knowing exactly where it is you know, at every point in time during its transit and, and a strong management of that. The ability to operate in places where there's no bandwidth at all, and that's a challenge. A lot of customers have those kinds of requirements. Uh, and also, a lot of people have their data stored in legacy file system format, and they want to automatically convert it over to object-based storage so they can use it in more creative and, and interesting ways. Uh, and the Snowball will do that automatically for them as well. Uh, and, and to really do this petabyte, both, both uh, scale in and out of AWS. Uh, so let's take a look at the device. Uh, so this is the Snowball device. Uh, it's got a hardened case. It'll handle 8.5G uh, impacts, which is pretty impressive. Uh, it's a little bit rain and, and dust resistant as well in case, I don't know, if you ship it to Las Vegas and it floods. <laughs> anyway, we didn't expect that, but it's it set up for that already. Uh, as Andy mentioned, uh, it's got tamper resistance all around the outside. Uh, it has its own e-ink label, so it knows where it's going, and it just sets the label for you. Uh, once this, the Snowball arrives, uh, you simply open up the ports, your cabling is all up here to hook it up, you hook it up in the back, and the uh, e-ink label turns into a user interface so you can interact with the device. So it's a very easy to get it going. So how many people would like to see a 45 pound or 47 pound uh, uh, 50 terabyte storage server drop six feet and smash onto concrete? You guys would like to see that? <laughs> okay. So we'll run the video of that. So, so don't try this at home. <laughs> and certainly don't try it with your average storage server, <laughs> unless you've already moved all the data off it. So let's talk a little bit about how it works. Uh, so basically, you go to our console, you download a client-side application, uh, and you point it at the data set you want to move. Uh, this, the, the application will figure out how many snowballs you need and how long it'll take. 
then you go to the console and you order your snowballs. Uh, uh, in our ingestion center at AWS headquarters, uh, the snowball will automatically change to your shipping label. It'll notify UPS it needs to be picked up. It'll get picked up, show up on your site. Uh, when it arrives there, you simply hook it up like I showed, uh, and then it'll start encrypting and downloading the data. Uh, once it's full, it knows where it needs to go. It'll change its label back to uh, where it needs to go. You close it up, it'll notify UPS, put it back out for shipping. Uh, you can watch it every step of the way so you know your data's secure. Once it hits AWS, uh, it'll get downloaded into S3 and decrypted. Uh, and there's a hash at either end to ensure that all your data got there securely. And at that point, the Snowball's ready to be reused for another load of data. One of the cool things about Snowballs is you can run them in parallel. So just uh, 10 Snowballs will give you a 100 gig interface, right? So you can pump that data down really quickly. Now, I mentioned that they were pretty inexpensive. Uh, so how does uh, 200 bucks per job sound? And so a really easy... Uh, thing to do, order it up and, and, and get it delivered. So uh, they're out on the e exhibit floor today. You can go touch them and feel them uh, uh, and take a look uh, and uh, start moving big data quickly with Snowball. Thank you very much.